all right hello there um, I am the coding teacher and today we'll be making a uh, CRM also known as a customer relationship manager I have um, kind of like an alpha version that I built here to give myself an idea of how I was gonna do it um, I'm not super happy with how it works it's kind of crappy but you can see that I can have customers here and if I uh, just start erasing something here and I'm gonna put uh, some web design company and if you don't know what a customer relationship manager is um, this should kind of like help you out it's kind of for like salespeople so contact is Joe and their email is uh, Joe at gmail.com um, whatever that's the website uh, spoke to Joe and he is interested in hiring a web developer so what a customer relationship manager is 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 a piece of software that can help coordinate the efforts of an entire sales force so I'm building one for uh, my workplace because we want to be on the same page regarding uh, the companies that we talk to I uh, am the uh, academic director of a coding bootcamp so one of the, my main things that I need to be able to accomplish is to get uh, my guys employed, my students. So uh, I have a career services uh, person, the director of career services, and myself need to be able to coordinate our efforts whenever we speak to a company. Uh, we should um, be able to have a central repository for all the companies that we're speaking to, and any time that that either one of us uh, speaks to a new company or, or speaks or engages one of the existing companies we should be able to update this data repository and that way we have like a centralized intelligence about uh, the companies that we're speaking to so this thing right here is what I'm going to be building is going to you're going to be able to create new um, quote unquote customers uh, you're gonna have notes the customer is gonna have an address a website phone email contact person the name of the company and I cannot stand these stupid pop-ups and a status um, the status might be a drop down in the future version that I do uh, I'm gonna be able to the delete thing might be here I'm gonna be able to put an X here and delete uh, each one of those customers um, if I click on plus uh, now that one should have gotten added here some web design company and it's right here uh, there the left hand side and the right hand side are going to scroll independently that's another thing that I'm noticing that I don't like and if I click here and I some notes and I update I click I can click on save right and it says data saved and that's cool but it doesn't update right here um, but if I refresh it's updated so I'm going to be using Node.js with a MongoDB this this version that I have right now uses MySQL but I'm going to be using and Node.js as well but I'm going to be using MongoDB um and oh my goodness this is unbelievable anyway i'm going to be using mongodb i'm going to be using angular js for the um, two-way data binding so that when i update something here it updates here as well and um i'm going to be reworking the interface a little bit um i think when i click on plus i want all of these to blank out and uh, this is the most obnoxious thing I've ever seen. I haven't restarted my Windows computer in, in forever. And it's unbelievable the amount of pop-ups. I want to snap it in half right now. But anyway, so this is what I'll be building. And uh, I hope uh, it's informative and useful for you guys. But if it's not, hey, I'm going to use it anyway. So, Oh, and at the end of the day, at the end of it all, I'm going to probably add some token-based authentication to it with uh, using Auth0. So that's going to be cool too. So if you want to see how to build all this, I'm going to try to explain a little bit about everything along the way. I'm going to explain a little bit about Node and explain a little bit about Mongo models. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, token-based authentication if I get to it. And um, I'm going to definitely explain a lot of bit about Angular, but not too much. Um, so if you want to, if you are kind of already know kind of what Node is and what Angular is, but you're looking for an exercise to follow along with and, and and to learn a little bit more and to to see some of the current coding practices in angular and node then stay tuned